All right, guys, welcome back. Western Sharpies RC, glad you could join me for this uh, part seven finale video here of the A-Train build uh, that I started way back. It's all finished up. Uh, I took a break from it for about a month and I just came back to it the other day to finish off the little dolly trailer there. Wired up the lights and that thing. And I thought I'd do one last video here and uh, just show you guys everything connected together and go over some of the details and give you guys my final thoughts. If you're thinking of maybe picking up a Tamiya flatbed and want to get some ideas for some upgrades, um, hopefully this helps out. I'll put a link down below to my Facebook page if you haven't checked that out already where you can pick up some of the, uh, the parts that I've added to mine to change it over from that uh, Tamiya look. Um, some of the major upgrades were these bumpers here. If you recall, the uh, stock ones have the square tail lights, which are more of a North Am or more of a, a European look. So I went for uh, the round lights here, which give it more of a North American look. And then of course the uh, the little winch straps here that I make and I print um, because if you recall uh, the Tamiya the stock Tamiya trailers have those uh, chains and stakes, which I'm not really too uh, crazy about. So anyway. And then of course all, all the other little bits here, you can see the little crank and handle, the, the outriggers, you know, the air brakes under there, which you've seen before, kind of dark under there, but I'll flip them over one, one more time, even though I know you've seen all this stuff countless times. Uh, really happy with how these turned out. I really love these Tamiya flatbeds. I mean, bang for your buck, they're really good. They go together quite well, like all Tamiya kits. And I think just with the upgrades that I've given these things, it really makes them pop a little more so. Uh, and also, just to mention too, if you see, I mean, the length of my truck isn't that long, but a lot of guys run the extended frame rails and they're practically the same size as one trailer, which I think looks kind of funny. So I, I put two trailers together to kind of make it look a little more scale. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, just show you, I'll show you guys how I wired them up. Pretty plain Jane. I mean, I, I didn't add any functions like uh, brake lights or signals. I just kind of red to red, black to black, just giving power. They all kind of just have marker lights. That way it's, it was a lot easier to wire up and if I want to interchange trailers, it's, there's no uh, monkeying around. So anyway, um, got a little on off switch in front of each tire here on the driver's side. So, and you'll see the battery and all that when I flip them over, but orange all the way to the back. The, the rear most is always red. Um, so yeah, each, each unit gets, uh, has a little uh, lithium ion battery and a little on off switch. This one's down here somewhere. And then. Uh, so they look really good all lit up. I'm really happy with these things, how they turned out. And uh, you can kind of see that it's, it's pretty long, so it's kind of hard to get everything in the, uh, in the shot here. So I apologize for all the uh, shakiness and all that, but. Anyway, that's pretty much it. One last thing I do plan on doing is uh, you can see here they're missing the, well not missing, they just have the little chrome stock nuts, which I'm not too crazy about. So I decided to go with these uh, SSD hubs. I guess the 110 scale crawler guys use these and I think those will look pretty good. So I've got 16 of those, that got expensive quick, but I was originally uh, printing um, some hubs, but they just don't fit on there really good and I kind of like the looks of those hubs which look a little more um, Scale, but like I said, they don't fit on there really good. So um, Waiting for those to show up and then that'll be completely it and then that'll be it after that I'll just uh, Load stuff on the trailers and, and haul all kinds of different things around so just to give you guys my thoughts as far as the straps are concerned I went with eight on mine. I mean you can probably put about 10 uh, which I think would be uh, sufficient as well. Anything less than eight kind of leaves a little bit too big a gap if you if you want to haul like uh, things like pallets around. But if you're hauling big stuff like uh, you know construction equipment or uh, you know bundles of pipe or, or uh, you know lumber, then you might not need as many. But it's kind of nice having I think eight. It looks scale, and like I said, you'll you'll always have a strap somewhere to to secure something down. So anyway, there's the uh, dolly trailer all finished off. That turned out really good. You can see the little details there. Um, the little glad hands, um, the little halo hoop there, the safety chains. There's the pinnel hitch. And then I just uh, I use some spiral wrap, 
poked a little hole through the mesh on the tongue there and fed it through to the little air blocks here on the tongue and then continuing on with the uh, uh, with the air lines to the rear trailer so the nice thing is it, it you know there's there's enough uh, slack that it doesn't bind up when it jackknifes or turns and all that so it looks really cool rolling down the road all those wheels turning so that's pretty much it I'm probably forgetting a few things but leave a comment down below if there's a question you got or something you want to know I'm happy to to answer it but anyway guys that's it I'll flip them over and uh, we'll get a look at the bottom side and uh, yeah that'll be it actually one last thing I want to show you before I disconnect the dolly trailer and flip them all over is just to show you how it pivots really nice without binding up if you do ever jackknife it One other thing I'd like to mention before I uh, flip them over as well. If you pick these air lines up, um, just disconnecting them and attaching them to these uh, glad hand holders. Um, I don't really recommend taking them on and off just because they're, you know, they're tiny as is. And, um, you know, they're just kind of press fitted together. So uh, the least amount of handling is kind of recommended. If, if you can, ideally just hook them up and then leave them like that. But... For whatever reason, if you do need to disconnect them, just carefully, you know, twist them on and off. And you can use a little a set of needle, needle nose pliers to kind of press them together. But just wanted to mention that as well. Because this is quite tedious, so. All right, just to quickly show you guys the bottom sides here. I know you've seen these quite a bit already, but um, you can see some of the details here a little, a little closer. Uh, the little aluminum storage box you've seen before. Um, I wanted to use one of those Lizu ones. They make really nice ones. They're not, they're not even that expensive, but unfortunately I couldn't find anything that was the right size. So I just uh, 3D printed my own and then added the uh, RC four wheel drive checker plate stuff to it and then put a little magnet in there. So. Uh, with some little dollhouse hinges so those worked out really good both trailers are identical and uh, like I said you've seen all this stuff before all the little air brakes and uh, all the details got the straps on the one side and then the, uh, the little cargo box on the other side and then of course these uh, uh, I got a separate video how I made these uh, aluminum uh, strips for the uh, for the handles or sorry the hooks to to latch onto, but just want to show you guys the uh, the wiring here. Everything's like I said, pretty plain Jane, just black to black, red to red, and then right to a little on off switch here, right? And then uh, threw my little Dean's connectors on there, and then I just uh, laid some uh, Velcro down, and I just used one of these little lithium ion batteries you get from Amazon for pretty cheap. So I put a little bit of uh, Velcro on the uh, Dean's connector, and then on the battery there and that's the nice thing about that wherever it lands it just sticks you know so uh, when you got them flipped over you don't want to fiddle around you can just throw them down there and then that's the nice thing when you're looking at it like that that would kind of bother me if you'd see wires uh, sagging down so everything's kind of tucked in there which is kind of what i like i hate seeing uh, wires and stuff like that so uh that's pretty much it for the trailers I think I've pretty much showed you everything. Here's the little uh, crank and handle, you've seen that. The little outriggers that I made. I uh, made some little uh, labels there, some Fontaine labels. And wherever I could, I stuck a few little Fontaine logos. Of course, the little uh, DOT reflective tape. I mean, you guys have seen all that before, but the dolly trailer, this turned out really good. It was a little tedious trying to get power to it. I'm gonna make a few of these and, and sell them. Um, I made these mud flaps myself actually um, with some material that I found off Amazon, just some uh, uh, 
uh, I don't know what this stuff is, neoprene or something. But anyway, since I've made these, I mean, I cut these corners out with a, a hobby knife, but I've actually found a nice machine that um, cuts the corners nice and round. So, um, and then of course my, my own uh, bumper, I changed the design from the, uh, uh, the Thingiverse file. So I do have those plates. What I was showing you guys before from the previous video. Hold on, let me go grab. All right, so these are the ones that I kind of came up with, but just to show, before I put one on there, just to show you guys the wiring. I mean, I really don't like seeing wires hanging down, right? So that's kind of why, you know, it's a little tedious getting everything in there. But uh, you know, it's kind of tough to see. You see the on-off switch right there. So I'll flip it over just to show you guys the. Uh, details here I was gonna use a long uh, a long bolt to go through the entire tongue but I think I'm just gonna stick with a little nut and bolt on each side with a lock washer but here's the bottom side and uh, that turned out really good like I said there really wasn't much space to to mess around with I used a, a 1500 milliamp uh, lithium-ion battery like you saw in the trailers there wired a little uh, Dean's connector to it and then uh, from there it goes right to the little on off switch and then right to these uh, five mil bulbs which i got from uh, true scale rc which are really nice because they got the little chrome uh, housings on there so you know that's all that's all you really need so the nice thing is everything's tucked in there really good you can kind of see that there and then um Final touch will be one of these, one of these little plates. I don't know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna use yet, or if I'm gonna use anything at all. That one there, maybe that one there. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Everything's all finished up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the build series here, and uh, stay tuned to the channel. I got a lot of cool things to build. Uh, coming up, I got the, uh, there's the, um, what is that, the King Kong um, Russian looking 4x2 truck. I got some uh, some tankers in the bottom box there. Some really cool stuff up there that I, uh, I'll do a separate video here and show you guys all the unboxing of all this stuff. Some cross arch sea trailers, there's a Intercontinental Express trailer, uh, some models and stuff like that. There's a, cross RC trailer and then some RC four wheel drive stuff behind there. So a lot of cool things coming up on the channel guys. Uh, hope you're enjoying it and uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.